Ladies and gentlemen, really a pleasure to welcome you here um, today for the high-level AML CFT workshop where we intend to focus on key crucial issues, building the culture of compliance and effective public-private partnerships to fight financial crime. And um, thanks to our collaboration with the national news agency, Letta, we're also broadcasting this event today. So good morning to, the, to those uh, watching this over, over the broadcast. So first of all, let me thank the Bank of Latvia for hosting the event here today um, at this uh, wonderful uh, golden, golden Hall of uh, Bank of Latvia. Very, very good location for the discussions to follow. Um, and of course, uh, it wouldn't be proper to start the event without thanking ACOMS for the inspiration and the occasion that we're able to bring together this distinguished audience and distinguished panelists uh, for the discussions today. In terms of um, in terms of the introduction from the uh, Latvian Association of Commercial Banks, um, what we want to um, share with you is very very clearly the commitment that um, our members have to reach the highest AML compliance standards uh, over the coming two to three years. Uh, we believe we're well on the way to reaching this, and uh, the event today um, is part of the series of uh, outreach and training efforts that we are putting and we will continue to put in place to move the discussion forward. In terms of, um, in terms of the specific items that we do, we're working uh, at three levels. We are putting forward the solutions that one can see as long-term solutions um, at the regulatory level. Uh, to name just one, we're very happy that the uh, government and then subsequently the parliament endorsed the proposal that we put forward for the full transparency of the UBOs registered uh, for the companies in the Latvian company register. Um, and overall, the trend of corporate transparency is the one that we're taking forward also through the guidelines that we are, um, that we've just adopted at the level of the association. And um, an event like this is a good, good time for us to discuss what it takes to actually move forward with the issues uh, entailed there, including the culture of compliance and similar, similar aspects. And at the level of the banks, um, we, um, we see um, a lot of um, developments, um, not to mention the internal control systems, the training, um, the review of the client base uh, that is continuing and will continue. And um, definitely the industry in Latvia is in an active remediation and reform phase. Now, uh, I think an interesting question would be also reflecting on the discussion to follow today, where do we believe in the grand spectrum of things we are um, in the in, in the staircase? Whether we are um, at a starting phase, we're somewhere in the middle, or approaching the, the highest. I think that's, that's the question that we're asking all of us to reflect. And our message in our sense is that we, are, um, we still have uh, quite a way to go, um, and uh, we cannot relent, which is a bit the, um, the feeling that having, having spent uh, two years in, uh, in, in doing all sorts of things, one can think, okay, we're done. Our message probably is that we're not yet done, and we need to, we, we need to continue, and building on um, the um, very much outside-in discussions that we hope the panel today will help us, um, um, help us uh, bring about um, today. So in, um, in closing, um, let me uh, just stress uh, and explain why we, in, in discussions with industry and discussions with ACAMS, uh, picked these two topics, tone from the top and culture of compliance and the effective public-private partnerships to fight financial crime. These are topics that will be important um, to, as, as a glue, to glue together the processes, procedures, IT improvements that we have implemented at the level of the banks. Uh, and um, the question will then be, how do we ensure that all of this works? And the questions that we get asked is, okay, how is the industry different today than it was three years ago? You've done all of these things. How can you prove that you're acting on a different, different basis?